There are a million Khaleesi tutorials on YouTube already, so I thought I'd make it a little different by bringing the side of her that is a little more badass. No horses were harmed in the making of this tutorial. <laughs> Hi. Once again we meet with no eyebrows, and I'm scared. But this time, I'm tan with no eyebrows, so I'm slightly less scary. I already have my wig on, and I already have foundation on that is two shades darker than my normal skin tone because she is a little bit tanner than I, which um, I can say for about 99% of the population, so that's not that surprising. This is the beauty portion first. Everyone says they want to see me do a really natural look. Well, here it is. This is probably about as natural as it's going to get because Khaleesi doesn't really wear any makeup. But we'll do a little for fun. So I am looking at a reference picture of her. And let's start with the brows so that I look less scary less long of a time. I'm using NYX Eyebrow Gel and Blonde to start filling in my brows. Khaleesi has very natural looking brows, much like the rest of her face, so for me this is actually the most time consuming part of the look because it's really hard to fake natural looking brow hairs when yours are invisible. I used more NYX brow gel in the darker shade Brunette to do even more hair simulation, but if you have normal people eyebrows this step should go much quicker. Just keep the brows light, naturally shaped, and brush through them with a spoolie a little bit so you don't look too wild. Once those are done, I'm choosing a warm brown shadow that is only a couple of shades darker than my fake tan skin tone, and I am sweeping and blending that all over the lid and under the eye. Super simple, super easy. Taking a slightly darker brown, I'm smoking that very lightly along the lash line to make the eyes appear a little more almond shaped like hers. And for the lashes, I'm using a brown mascara because it looks a lot more natural than black. No falsies for this look, and I feel naked. And that's pretty much it for the eyes. Oh, this is in the way. Looks like I'm picking my nose. I don't part with this often, so you know it's getting serious. To get the natural Khaleesi lip color, I am using Sebastian Lip Liner by OCC and Cherish Lipstick by MAC. Then I'm actually powdering it at the end because that lipstick shine is giving away our natural lip game. Khaleesi has some rosy cheeks, so I'm using Spellbound Blush by Makeup Geek right on the apples of the cheeks for that peach flushed look. And then of course, she's got some bright action going on. So we shall do that too. You guys are always asking me about my wigs, and this particular wig was made by the wig god himself, Darnell slash hair he goes on Instagram. I don't always wear custom wigs, but when I do, they're by him. This is starting to sound like a Dos Equis commercial. Stay thirsty, my friends. I'm doing the signature four braid Khaleesi look, but I'm not pulling back a ton of hair for these braids because this wig cannot and should not be tamed. Mm. I also made a Khaleesi top. This burlap was not the best idea because I have very sensitive skin and uh, it's getting a little crazy underneath up here. It's a little itchy. I have a bit of a rash happening for you guys. <gasps> okay. So that's the regular part of Khaleesi, which you've probably seen before in many other tutorials. But of course, here at Glam and Gore, I can't just leave it at this, because I just can't. I just don't know how. So, let's get dirty. But now to bring the gore into the Glam and Gore, after the scene where Khaleesi eats a horse's heart. And lucky for us, there's already a tutorial on this channel on how to make a heart. Yay! Full circles. For as itchy and uncomfortable as I am right now, it's about to get a lot worse. 
So let's make a horse heart. You wanna follow me to get it to the freezer? Our horse heart has a project. Here's where my twisted sense of a Valentine's Day theme comes in. As I mentioned earlier, I already have a tutorial on how to make this fake heart which I will link right here, right meow. It is also linked below in the description box. The only difference between the heart and the DIY heart tutorial and this one is that this one is much bigger. Honestly, it should have been even bigger than this if we're trying to mimic the size of a horse heart. So this is more like a pony sized heart. When you have that fresh out the freezer and unwrapped, set it aside and we'll get back to that later. Suppress your appetite. That means you, Mikey. So this next part is really easy. Pretend you're eating a heart. You're just gonna get blood all over your face. First thing you're gonna need, and the only thing you're really gonna need is some blood. I'm using a black stipple sponge to apply the blood, but you certainly don't need to use this if you don't have it. I just like the effect it gives. I'm using a reference picture from the horse heart scene to guide how far up on the face I put the blood, and I'm using a Q-tip to drip thicker lines of blood. Do the same on the neck until you look more cray than Hannibal Lecter. Mother of badassery right here. Without context, this doesn't look great. But we're getting to the context. So, I need blood in my mouth, but I do not have mouth safe blood. So let's just pretend that my mouth is looking vile. Okay. This is a good look for me. You know what? Heck. There's not enough blood clots up in here. Cause you know, if she's digging into a horse heart, she's gonna get a clot in there or two. So, add some realism to the mix. You guys know how I feel about Ben Nice Gab Blood. I would make it my Valentine if I could. Smear some of that on your face if you got it. It'll give you more moxie. Lastly, go hard as a mother in the blood. Cover the heart. Cover your hands, and then try not to touch anything. Congratulations, Game of Throners. You just went 0 to 60 from Pretty Little Blonde Thing to Mega Creep. Bon appetit! But seriously, don't eat it. Well, you can take little bites of it. I did. But I set bad examples. If you puke, it ain't on me. I keep forgetting I don't have edible blood. <laughs> ah, stupid. Stupid. I can't touch my hair anymore. Okay. Yeah. There's something about blood that once I put it on me, I just get all kinds of excited. I'm making pill jokes about myself. If I don't do it, someone else will. I'm trying so hard not to get this beautiful wig in the blood. We'll see how that goes. No, not in the hair! Not in the hair! I'm sorry, Darnell, please don't hate me. Do you know how stressful it is to have to itch everywhere and you can't because your hands are full of blood and you have a, oh my god, there's more blood in the wig! Oh my god. Cut yourself shaven? Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm still learning. Blood? Blood? Here. Dear, 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 dear. Not funny. Happy Valentine's Day, zombies. Hope your Valentine's Day involves a little less blood than this. Any Valentine's Day advice? Valentine's Day advice? Look. Don't just give your heart away to anyone. Give it to the person who wants it. It's not just the good. Everyone's like, oh, I would let, I want your heart. Give me your heart. They don't know what's involved. This is what's involved if you actually give someone your heart. There's blood, there's stickiness, it tastes bad. So find the person who really means it. And then don't let them go. And if anyone tries to actually give you a real heart on Valentine's Day, you should call the police. Unless they watch Glam and Gore. Then it's actually... Really, it's cool. They're cool.